Hey friends, you are welcome to my channel. I am Marino and Yane Suman. Yeah. Have you ever heard that beekeepers use smoke in their activities? Have you ever seen a beekeeper using a metal contraception to blow smoke into his hives whilst working on the bees? That metal device is what we call the smoker. It is used to keep, beekeepers use the smoker to keep themselves safe and the bees also safe. Yeah, in this video, I am going to explain to you the significance of smoke in beekeeping and also talk briefly about the smoker, the various parts of it and how it is used. I mentioned and talked about the smoker in one of my previous videos that was 17 times in beekeeping yeah you may want to go back and then watch it as well so you will get a fair knowledge about it but in this video I'm going to talk extensively about the use of smoke and then the smoker there's one question that people often ask me and it is that bees are scary they can sting you to death they are dangerous so how do you protect yourself how do you avoid getting stung and it is true yeah, bees sting and their sting can lead to death so you have to protect yourself when you intrude in the environment they will react back they are not pets and they don't know they are keepers so we always have to keep ourselves protected and one way we protect ourselves is by puffing smoke into their hives. Yeah, so we use smoke to prevent them from overly attacking or stinging us. So the question is, how does the smoke help us avoid getting stung? We usually use the smoke during hive inspection and during harvesting. Now, when we get close to the hive, when we open the hives, the bees feel attacked. So, some of them releases a chemical scent, which is called the alarm pheromone. Now, the alarm pheromone wafts through the air, alerting all the bees that there is an intruder, so they should be ready for an attack. And this makes them more aggressive and protective of themselves and what they have stored in the hive mm. so the role that the smoke plays here is that it marks the alarm pheromone and it also interferes with the bees sense of smell so that um, they will not smell it or fewer few only few of them will be able to smell to attack us that one will be able to manage it with our bee suits yeah so, so that is that is one thing the smoke does it does another thing too another interesting thing that also happens is that when a hive is smoked the bees tend to believe that the hive is on fire so they will prepare to to leave to a new home by doing so they will eat lots of of the honey yeah and then when they do that their their abdomen gets full 
that it makes it difficult for them to sting you you know the stinger is attached to the abdomen so like they get full that it becomes difficult for them to bend before they sting they bend it becomes difficult for for them to bend the abdomen to sting you and so that becomes an advantage to us and one thing i want you to know is that the smoke doesn't hurt the bees in any way it rather keeps the bees safe and the beekeepers safe you know when the bees think they die soon after that i've said this in my previous videos they die soon after stinging yeah and then we want to avoid that when they die we look the workforce that are going to produce the honey and everything so the volume of the honey will reduce the workforce will reduce and their bee products too will reduce in quantity so we are rather keeping them safe and we are keeping ourselves also safe so let me talk briefly about the smoker as i said earlier the smoker is what we use to blow smoke into the hives it is made up of three parts the bellow the fire chamber and the nozzle the bellow is what we squeeze to um, blow air into the fire chamber mm -hmm. and then the fire chamber is the space where we stack with uh, with fuel any fuel that will cause smoke um, to emerge and then and then the, the nozzle is the opening through which the smoke um, through the smoke passes onto the, the bees or on the hive. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, like it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, kindly subscribe to it and then give me a comment too. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.